Today is National Coaches Day, a day to celebrate the people who instruct us to play our sports well and with respect. That's why it's fitting that tonight we're sharing the story of a Southern Vermont woman on the ice in Boston. Danielle Marmer is making history in the NHL. NBC5's Carolyn Sistrian made a trip down to Manchester to meet the people behind the coach. Carolyn? Yeah, Alice, if you've ever been to Riley Rink in Manchester, Vermont, you've probably run into a marmer. People say hockey runs in the family. It probably has something to do with mom managing the rink for many years. If you ask the marmers, they say it's their community that has been instrumental in the growth of their three children, including helping Danielle on her journey to this historic hire. It was Don Sweeney and he's like, hey, I just want to let you know we're good to go. It's an early morning phone call. Dorset, Vermont native Danielle Marmer will never forget. We have a spot for you with the Bruins. That call making Marmer the first woman on ice coach in the NHL. Joining the Boston Bruins in July as the first ever player development and scouting assistant, a position they created just for her. I didn't even have the foresight or the the thought that, you know, the NHL was even possible. I think college hockey was even a big deal for me. The 28 year old playing Division One hockey for Quinnipiac University, captained by her senior year. But when it was over, Marmer couldn't leave the sport. So she did what most college graduates do. She calls her parents. Before making a commitment to law school, she said, you know, I really I'm going to really miss the hockey. And that's when we started probing a little bit and saying, you know, there's a lot of opportunity out there. And hockey. With the support of mom Susan and dad Gary, she took her first opportunity at Connecticut College and eventually made it back to her alma mater. She'd soon learn about the scouting mentorship program through the Boston Bruins, something she thought would be a good resume builder. She let us know that she was doing it, but it wasn't something that we focused very much attention on. But saying yes to the unknowns of that opportunity has led Marmer to a place where she can live out her dreams, just over 150 miles from where it all began, at Riley Rink in Manchester, Vermont. I grew up playing hockey in Vermont. It's where I fell in love with the game. Inside the first rink she ever called home, the many people that made it a family. Getting together for the first time in years to reunite and celebrate Danielle. From her first hockey coach, the man who taught her how to play the game. She's always been up for the challenge, always. And she's always been aggressive towards it and the Bruins have picked up a winner. To her first high school coach at Burton Burton Academy. That would be her only year there before transferring to prep school in Connecticut. I, I text her almost immediately. <laughs> yeah, I mean, didn't surprise me. But uh, yeah, it was quite a, quite a moment. And her proud teammates. I think that, yeah, this is so exciting and she's making such a statement about how, you know, hopefully in a couple of years, a woman getting this position won't be such a big deal. They know that little girl who was playing on the boys team is the woman these men need. She might be able to, to help maybe a player that might be on the bubble, might not be able to make the team um, or, or the final cuts and, and be able to push them through with, with adversity because there's there's no question that she's faced adversity in her life, especially with playing with us. Dad Gary, one of the few that can say their daughter is a coach in the NHL. For her, it's special. For me and Susan, it's special. For our family, it's special. But for this community, it's extra special because it, it really says that we can be successful coming from here. From here, a small rink in a small Vermont town. It's, to feel that support is has honestly been amazing proud of the woman they've raised for the inspiration she will be to all the little girls who lace up their skates and follow her lead. Think big, dream big, but don't overwhelm yourself with how small Vermont seems and how far away something like the NHL or college hockey could feel. I mean, there's, you're going to find your path. Well, you can watch Marmer's work and the rest of the Boston Bruins on the ice for one more preseason game Saturday against the New Jersey Devils. They start regular season play Wednesday in Washington, D.C. They take on the Capitals. And the TD Garden will be packed for the home opener against the Arizona Coyotes on October 15th. In the studio, Carolyn Sistran, NBC5 News.